You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Jamie Costello with your WMAR 2 News update. Baltimore County Police have solved a 40 year old murder. It was back on September the 24th of 1981 that the body of 13 year old Heather Porter was found in a wooded area near Ridgewood Road and Goucher Boulevard. This is in Towson. An autopsy determined she had been sexually assaulted and strangled. John Anthony Patrika Jr. was identified as a suspect. He actually lived a short distance from where Heather Porter was last seen by her friends the night that she disappeared. And in doing some background on the suspect, we did learn that he was responsible for multiple rapes in the 60s and 70s. Now this past March, his body was exhumed. And last month, detectives learned his DNA was linked to the crime. Well, there's a new opportunity to learn about the history of East Baltimore. Today was the grand opening ceremony for the East Baltimore Historical Library. It'll be located right there on Ashland Avenue. The library will feature exhibits and galleries and space for talks and performances. And it's the game we've all been waiting for. The Ravens and Steelers renew their rivalry this weekend. The Ravens will visit Pittsburgh on Sunday in what should be another AFC North slugfest. Lamar and the Ravens were back at practice and they are sitting atop the division, the conference at eight and three. Meanwhile, the Steelers are having a down year. They're five and five and one. And none of that matters when these two go at it. It's going to be a brawl. Uh, Steelers is a great team, man, especially, you know, when we play them. And they've always been that way. And it always will be that way. For sure, it's a rival game. And we know it's going to be an intense game, like it always is, very physical game, like it always is. I'm ready. All right, Sunday's game is at 425 kickoff in the Steel City. And we are tracking temperatures that are going to be milder as you start off your Thursday morning. Mostly clear skies with highs or temps in the mid 40s climbing into the 60s as we push into the afternoon. I do expect a few clouds, even a stray sprinkle going to be possible as we head into the late afternoon as a cold front slides through. Going to be unseasonably warm by 10 plus degrees as we soar into the lower 60s across the state. And that's going to be our warm day as we're looking at cooler numbers filtering in for your Friday and Saturday. Still manageable, just not in the 60s. Cooler numbers for your Sunday with rain chances returning ahead of another front on Monday highs on Tuesday in the upper 40s. All right, click with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're out there on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. Thank you for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.